guys, so today I want to do a look inspired by a white Christmas. So obviously it's summer here in Australia, we don't have white Christmases here, and I've actually never even seen snow before, which is on my bucket list, my to-do list, but from photos, a white Christmas looks so beautiful, so that is what today's makeup tutorial is inspired by. So we're going to start with the eyes first, just because I'm using glitter, and we're going to want to clean up the look a little, and I'm going to do a voiceover for this because I am going to be switching between palettes, and I just think if I'm grabbing different palettes and talking and blabbing on things might get a little bit confusing so I just wanted to have a nice flow to it but I'll be back to finish off the face with you guys so I hope that you enjoy this video be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and click the little notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video which is every Wednesday night Australian Eastern Standard Time and be sure to check out my social media links which are below and let's just go ahead and get started I'm using concealer to prime my lips to ensure we have a nice, clean, even canvas for the shadows, then dipping into the Sigma Beauty Cream de Couture palette and taking Blueberry Cream to act as my transition shade. So I'm running that through my crease using the Morphe Y16 brush and I'm blending that out past my outer corner to elongate my eye. Then switching over to the Morphe 35B palette, I'm taking this sky blue colour on the Morphe Y18 brush and we are creating a cut crease look today. So although some of this shadow is about to be gotten rid of, we want to create a little bit of depth and definition in our crease before we do the next step. I'm taking a full coverage concealer to cut this cut crease and I'm taking this above my natural crease as I will be creating a negative space today so I want enough room for that negative space and shadow on the lid. I'm then taking some makeup remover to clean the lid before going back in with some more concealer then setting that into place with some translucent powder so that we have a clean canvas for the rest of the shadows. I'm picking up this navy blue shade from the same Morphe palette on the Sigma Winged Liner Brush and I'm applying this where the concealer meets the eyeshadow to get some more depth and definition into this cut crease look. Going back into the sky blue shade, I'm applying this to the outer corner of my lid creating a nice wing shape and taking this on the inner corner of my lid leaving the center bare as I will be creating a halo eye. I'm blending out the edges with the first shade we used which was Blueberry Cream from the Sigma palette. I'm deepening up the very inner and outer corner of my lid with the same navy blue shade we used earlier. For the center of my lid, I'm actually going in with Craft Glitter, which you know wasn't ideal, but it worked the exact same as Cosmetics Glitter. I just loved how it was like a white iridescent shade, perfect for this look, so I'm just popping that on the center of my lid using some glitter glue. I'm going in with Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Distortion, which is the exact same shade as the Chunky Glitter, and I'm applying this to the edges of that glitter to blend it into the shadow. I'm using Makeup Remover to clean the face and get rid of any fallout, and then going back in with some more concealer to redefine the negative space. And then finishing off by applying some of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara to my top lashes. Alrighty, so the eyes are pretty much done. Let's move on to the face. So of course, starting with primer, I'm taking the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I'm just going to pop this on my face. Ooh, that will give my skin a nice glow to it. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess. So the eyes were a little bit of a process, weren't they? But I love doing negative double cut creases, especially ones like this with like the halo eye in the middle. I think it looks so nice and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It definitely reminds me of ice and snow. Moving on to foundation, we're going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Desert Beige. And I hate how this doesn't have a pump. Like, as you just saw, I am so messy. So I'm probably, like it wouldn't surprise me if I spilt this everywhere. <laughs> And I'm just popping that on with the Morphe Y6 brush. For concealer today, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin in Fair Neutral. And I'm just popping this on with my eyes. And I'm going to use this to help clean up the eyeshadow. Also, just down the center of my face. So just going in with a Sigma Large Shader Brush. And I'm just going to use that to really create a sharp edge to this eyeshadow look. Then actually just blending in that concealer with a dampened beauty blender. Let's quickly set all those liquids down so that we don't crease and just locks everything to place. So I'm going to take the Laura Mercier translucent powder on the Morphe Y11 brush and just pack that under my eyes to begin with. Then just taking a big fluffy brush 
and setting the rest of my face using dabbing motions rather than like swelling the brush so that we don't move any of the product. I'm just going to contour my cheeks a little bit, get some definition in my face using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, the usual. <laughs> Let's warm up the skin with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in Light. And I'm going to use the Morphe Y8 brush just to pack this in so I can get a little bit more precision with my application. And just taking that around the perimeters of my face. For blush, I'm going in with the Too Faced Love Flush I Will Always Love You Blush because I thought the peachiness of this blush will complement the blue eyes very nicely. To get that icy glow to our cheeks, I'm using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in Ice Cold and just popping that on the tops of my cheekbones. Whew, look at that glow. I love putting highlighter like above my brow. I don't know, it just like evens everything out. I don't know, I just like it. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I look so weird having a full face with blue eyeshadow and no brows. Like. We need brows now. <laughs> brows are on. Let's move on to the lower lash line so that we can finish off the eyes. So I'm going to take the Sigma Inner Rim Brightener and I'm just going to pop this on my waterline just because I think like a black would be too heavy and then blue would be a little bit much. So I'm just going to pop this on my waterline and this will make my eye look bigger. Going back in with that dark blue navy shade from the Morphe palette, I'm going to be applying this to my inner and outer corner on my lower lash line as we are going to mimic the lid and create a halo look on the lower lash line as well. Taking the lighter shade from the Morphe palette, I'm going to blend this toward the center of my eye and use it to blend out that navy shade. So I don't want to apply loose glitter to my lower lash line because things are going to get messy real quick. So I'm going to go back in with that Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner and pop that on the very center of my lower lash line. Then just going back in with some mascara. I'm also going to quickly highlight my inner corner with that same Jeffree Star highlighter. Now I really want to add a gemstone to the center of my lower lash line. I don't know what it's going to look like or if you're even going to be able to see it, but I thought it would look like a little like ice crystal or something. So I'm going to give it a go and we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> okay, let's give this a go. I'm going to go in with my finger because I feel like it's going to get stuck if I use tweezers. Ooh, how cute is this? Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I love this, yes. I'm gonna lock this all in with the Kat Von D Locket Setting Spray because we have a lot going on in our face, so we wanna make sure it's not gonna move. <laughs> For lips, we don't want to take away any attention from the eyes. So, you know, we don't want to use like a pink or a red. It just wouldn't go. So I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in Posh Spice. This is like a nice neutral nude with like a gray undertone. So I think it will go with this look very, very nicely. And this is like a nice cool toned lip color as well, which suits like the cool tones in the blue. So I think it goes well. And this is the finished look. I really like it because it's a different take on Christmas, you know. It's staying away from the reds and the golds and it's just something a little bit different and I like different. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.